Roughly once every four years, something called a Bitcoin halving event takes place in the world of crypto. It may sound a little technical, but it's a big deal. This event impacts how much miners earn, the rate at which new Bitcoin is produced, and even the price of Bitcoin itself. Hi there, I'm Leonora. In this video, I will tell you about the upcoming Bitcoin halving event due to take place already this year. Watch the video until the very end to learn how the halving will change the crypto market and if BTC will reach $100,000 afterward. But first, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything important. Well, let's get started! First, let's understand what halving is. Imagine halving like a slicing a pizza into a smaller pieces. In the Bitcoin world, it's when the rewards for making new blocks get cut in half. This slowdown in coin production makes Bitcoin more scarce, which is a good thing because it helps keep the coin valuable. Let's break down how halving works. You probably know that new bitcoins are created from a process called mining. Miners, individuals and organizations add new blocks to the blockchain by performing complex mathematical calculations using powerful computers. As a reward for their hard work, miners receive some freshly created bitcoins and fees from the transactions recorded in those blocks. Now, here is where halving comes into play. Imagine if the rewards stayed the same forever. An increasing number of people would start mining, flooding the market with Bitcoin and making it less valuable. To prevent this, Bitcoin has a smart system. Every 210,000 blocks mined, the rewards for miners are cut in half. It's like getting half as many candies in your Christmas sock every few years. This was all set up by Bitcoin's mysterious creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, and this happens automatically every four years or so. So, with each half an event, the rate at which new bitcoins are created slows down, no matter what's happening in the world. It's one of the things that makes BTC unique and valuable. Let's talk about the big picture. Bitcoin is like digital gold, and there is a limit to how much of it can ever exist. The plan is to release a total of 21 million coins. Halving is a crucial part of its ecosystem that makes sure new bitcoins are created at the right pace. When we hit that magic number of 21 million, no more bitcoins will be created. Now here is where it gets interesting. Bitcoin has a total of 32 halving events built into its code, and they will keep happening until the year 2140. So far, we've had three of these events. In 2012, when rewards for miners dropped from 50 to 25 BTC. In 2016, it dropped from 25 to 12 and a half coins. In 2020, it became 6 and a quarter BTC. After the next halving, miners will get just over 3 bitcoins and their reward. It's like a countdown to the future of Bitcoin. Ok, miners received reduced rewards, so there will be fewer bitcoins in circulation. But how does this affect the market on a global scale? Firstly, halving plays a crucial role in controlling bitcoin's inflation rate. Right now, it's slightly below 2% according to Wubble charts, but after the next halving, it'll drop to less than 1%. This means fewer new bitcoins will be created, which can help maintain their value. Just to compare, the inflation rate in the US as of the end of December 2023 stands about 3%. Secondly, Halving keeps the Bitcoin network running smoothly. It ensures that new blocks are added to the blockchain about every 10 minutes, regardless of how many miners are active. Thanks to this, the transaction processing speed remains stable. Also, when the reward decreases again, miners and users pay more attention to other cryptocurrencies. This has a positive impact on their value and overall market capitalization. Moreover, Halving encourages miners to become more efficient, use less energy, and improve the way they process transactions. So, it's not about just making bitcoins rare, it's about making the whole cryptocurrency system better. Now 
let's dive into the hottest topic. How does Bitcoin's price change before and after halving? Experts suggest that Bitcoin's price typically starts to rise about 6 months before halving event and reaches its peak around 12 to 18 months later. The limited supply of Bitcoins or the regular reduction in the rate of new coin creation make this crypto increasingly rare. Additionally, as trust in fiat currencies wanes, Bitcoin becomes more attractive. Many market participants buy coins before halving, expecting a high return on investment. Therefore, it's not surprising that the demand for BTC surpasses supply before and after halving, causing its price to rise. After halving, miners often try to avoid selling their mined coins unless absolutely necessary, as their earnings from mining are halved compared to before. This reduction in supply, coupled with sustained demand, pushes the price of Bitcoin higher. To better understand this, let's take a look at how Bitcoin's price behaved before and after previous halvings. The first halving occurred at the end of November 2012. During 12 months, the price of Bitcoin fluctuated between 4 and a half and 14 dollars. However, a year after halving in November 2013, it skyrocketed to nearly $1,200 and an increase of over 80 times. Subsequently, the price gradually declined, hovering around $200 mark by 2015. The second halving took place in July 2016. In the lead up, Bitcoin's price ranged between $400 and $900. In December 2017, it reached a new peak, exceeding $20,000. However, by November-December of the following year, the price of BTC had turned to the three to four thousand dollars range. The third and most recent halving occurred in May 2020. In the run-up, the price of one Bitcoin ranged from eight to ten thousand dollars. However, just a year later, on the 10th of November, it set a new high of nearly sixty-nine thousand dollars. As of the mid-January 2024, approximately three months before the next halving, the price of BTC is almost $43,000. How will it affect BTC's price? And will it reach $100,000? Well, we can make some predictions based on the data from previous halvings. Historical data shows that each halving has propelled Bitcoin to achieve a new all-time high, but these price surges have gradually decreased. After the first halving, BTC witnessed an increase of almost 10,000%. The second reduction in block rewards resulted in an increase of less than 3,000%, which is 70% lower than in 2012. Following the most recent halving, Bitcoin's price increased by less than 700%, which is significantly lower than in 2016. Based on these trends, it's expected that the next price surge will be roughly 70% lower than the previous one. Therefore, after the next halving event, Bitcoin's price increase to an all-time high could be slightly over 180%. However, it might take about 500 days to reach this milestone, potentially occurring in September-October 2025, if the halving occurs as planned this April. Analysts also predict that Bitcoin's price could reach nearly $150,000 by 2025. However, it's crucial to remember that predicting the BTC rate with certainty is extremely challenging, simply because it is influenced by various factors beyond halving. These factors include market size sentiment, overall economic conditions, the behavior of major players, and etc. Can Bitcoin repeat its historical patterns? Let's try to forecast. Share your thoughts in the comments and let's see who can make the most accurate prediction. And now that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the notification bell below.